Okay, let's get going. So the way we can add fonts locally is like this. Let me open this up. What we can do is we can go up here, all the way up here, right below the star symbol. And I can do add a round symbol like this, and we can use something called font face, like this, font face. We can open up a pair of curly braces. I'm gonna name font family, and here I can give it any name I want. So this one's gonna be rule, okay, like this. Close this up, and now all I have to do is give it a source. I'm gonna go to URL, like this, and I'm gonna link to it. So let's go here, fonts, and Frank rule regular, okay? And that's it, super simple. I can copy this over two more times because I wanna do medium as well. So I'm gonna change this to medium, and here, let's change this to medium. No. There we go, and this one, let's name this Vibes. And this is gonna be Great Vibes. Before we actually start building out this website, I do still wanna point out very quickly that these variables that we created might not be supported by all the browsers. So if we take a look here on Can I Use, you're gonna see that Internet Explorer 11 is behind times, it's dead, it's not working, uh, so it's unfortunate. But actually, you know what, it's not unfortunate because Internet Explorer 11 should not exist anymore and it sucks and it's dying and it's, it's at the end of its life cycle anyway, so I wouldn't worry too much about this. However, uh, at the last website, we're gonna take a look at a, a better method uh, that's automatically gonna generate us. And we can use basically variables without using this variable. And that's gonna be SAS. And there's a lot of awesome things that we can do with SAS uh, that I think you're gonna love. And your CSS is gonna get shorter, nicer, and you can even create multiple uh, small CSS files and kind of put everything together. So that's gonna be very, very fun. But for now, I wanted to let you know that if you're using just CSS variables, uh, I wanted to kind of show you the graph here of the supported browsers. Okay, so let's actually start building things out.